Today on Amateur Kitchen, we are making a quesadilla for Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo is a celebration that takes place down in Mexico every 5th of May, and we're celebrating up here in Chicago this year with our quesadillas. And we love quesadillas because it's kind of like tacos in our house. You can fill them with whatever you like, and because Little Miss Sunshine here mm -hmm. is not a big fan of a lot of foods that Chris and I like, we love nights like these. And this is also a great weekend meal too that's super quick and can be a lot of fun with the family. So, are you ready, Maria? Yes. Let's get started on making these. Quesadillas for Cinco de Mayo. Here we go. or grilled cheese sandwich. We want the cheese on both sides so it can melt and kind of hold it together, okay? So we'll keep that in mind. So if we want it to kind of stick together, we're gonna first start off with our cheese. Okay, so Maria has like a four cheese Mexican cheese and I have just kind of a Mexican cheese, just a white kind that's, uh, it melts very well. So we're just gonna kind of fill the bottom of this, okay? And while you're finishing doing that, I'm going to start adding in some of the other insides that I kind of like, which is some red peppers and some onions. And like Chris loves mushrooms, so you can put mushrooms in it. This is the part where really you can make it your own. You could even do ham and cheese, you know? Like a ham and cheese quesadilla. So it's kind of whatever you like. Like a ham and cheese sandwich. Yes, exactly. Okay, I got a lot of cheese. Very good. Well, you might want more though, because you want the cheese like oozing out of it. Right? So do you want some peppers and um, onions? No? Okay. Now I got just some chicken. And I love these rotisserie chickens because they're already cooked very quick for a weeknight meal. You want chicken? No. No? No. You like chicken, don't you? Yes, but I don't want it with this. You don't want it on this? Okay. So now, all that we have to do is I just have to finish because the guacamole and the salsa or the pico de gallo, uh, we'll put on, I'll put on later. I don't know if Maria will. Wow, you're getting a lot of cheese on there. You I said to put on a lot of cheese. I know, it's okay, it's okay. Can I put on more? No, that's good. So I'm just gonna finish mine with some cheese. That way when I cook it, it'll kind of hold it together. And we need another one to top it, don't we? So this can be fun. The whole family can get involved. Now we're just going to head over to the stove, put this on a medium heat, and just kind of cook it until the cheese becomes all nice and melted and the shell becomes nice and brown. It's that simple. I know. I'm so excited. I remember in Toy Story 3, Mr. Potato Head wasn't just a fast potato, he put all his body parts on a tortilla. And I thought that was really funny. So the one thing that I absolutely love with my quesadillas is a chipotle ranch. So what I do is I just have a little can of chipotle peppers, which is just a jalapeno that's been smoked. I like to take some of the seeds out a little bit, just because I don't want seeds all over in my dressing. And then I just go ahead and finally chop this up and I put it into about four tablespoons of ranch dressing. So it's super simple. You can also put a little bit of the sauce in with it. And there you have it, just an easy chipotle ranch dressing. Every time I think of a tortilla shell, I always think about when I went to Arizona State University, shout out to all you Sun Devils out there, and at the football game, they would always throw out tortilla shells onto the field and they called them tortilla shells 
So every time I see a tortilla shell, I always call it tortilla. Same with quesadilla, I always call it quesadilla. I don't know, something just stuck with me. I just put my hand on the quesadilla and let's just say it was really hot. Yes, so it just came off the stove, didn't it? Yeah. Yes. Well, we're almost done. The only thing left we need to do is garnish it, right? Yes. What are you going to garnish it with? We got guacamole, pico de gallo, cilantro. I'm going to garnish it with cilantro. Cilantro. So just tear off a couple pieces of leaves and you can garnish it with whatever you want or you can just eat it. That's fine. I got our chipotle ranch that I made earlier, which let me tell you guys, it is amazing. It's so simple and it's going to add a ton of flavor. And Ooh, I'm just going to... This looks like a clover. Oh yeah, it kind of does look like a clover, doesn't it? Yeah. Very nice. So I just kind of put a little on top. And then of course, we got to have the guacamole. You want guacamole, Maria? Uh, Daddy loves guacamole. That's one of his favorites. Mm -hmm. And then a little bit of pico de gallo, one of my favorites. And do you want to put a couple cilantro leaves on top of mine? Sure. The color is so pretty. I love it. Okay. Yeah, oh wow, very nice. You got yours kind of in a little order. Okay, put some cilantro on mine. Okay, what are you gonna do? Just sprinkle it on top. All right. You told me. Cheers. I got a pizza. Yeah, you got a cheese pizza almost. Mm. Yo. I love the cheese pizza shape and the cheese. I'm doing a happy dance. Uh -huh. This is the bomb. You don't need to go to any Mexican restaurant to get a great quesadilla. You can do it right in your own home. You can control the ingredients, which we always love, and you can put whatever ingredients you like in it too. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you think? A winner? Yes. Awesome. So you should probably do another happy dance. Good. Another happy dance. <laughs> we got a winner. Very nice. Well, we're going to finish mowing down on our quesadillas for Cinco de Mayo, but... In the meantime, we always want you to head to our website, AmateurKitchen.tv, to find all of our recipes and videos, including this one. By the way, for our guacamole and pico de gallo, be sure I'll put a link up on our um, underneath in the recipe part where you can see how to make your own pico de gallo recipe and guacamole. So, how cool is that? We also want you to head to our Facebook page, Twitter page, Pinterest, YouTube and Instagram and all the other social media pages out there because we're on there and well, what do we want them to do Maria? Click that little like button or follow button. So you can follow us every single day. Alright, I'm going to finish eating this because it's delish. We hope you try it too. Are you going to finish yours Maria? Yes. Awesome. Alright, we want to see you right back here again next time on Anna Cherry Kitchen. See you later. Bye.